And that night I went to a party and I, there was other stuff there and it was only three months before I ended up in the hospital with an OG. Demi Lovato is opening up about her 2018 relapse and overdose. I got sober at an age where I wasn't even legally allowed to drink. The 27-year-old stopped by the Ellen DeGeneres show on Thursday and got candid about her former management team, who she says were so controlling, it ultimately led her to question her six years of sobriety. My life, I just felt it was so, and I hate to use this word, but I felt like it was controlled by so many people around me. Ellen, who has had Demi on the show 10 times in the past, said she learned that Demi's team used to hide all of the sugar in her dressing room before Demi arrived. I didn't know that until today too, but I lived a life um, for the past six years that I felt like wasn't my own because I struggled really hard with an eating disorder, yes, and that was my primary problem, and then it turned into other things. Demi said her team would take the phone out of her hotel room so that she couldn't order room service, adding that they'd also remove any fruit from her room because of added sugar. She also claimed that they even monitored her Starbucks orders. And Demi says that the controlling nature of her team led her to feeling, quote, really, really unhappy. My bulimia got really bad and I asked for help and I didn't receive the help that I, I needed. Um, and so I was stuck in this like unhappy position and here I am sober and I'm thinking to myself, I'm six years sober, but I'm miserable. I'm even more miserable than I was when I was drinking. Why am I sober? Demi expressed all of this to her team and said that they reacted by leaving her. Demi admitted that all these complications triggered her issues with abandonment surrounding her birth father, a former addict himself. So when they left, they totally played on that fear and I felt completely abandoned, so I drank. But Demi makes it clear that she takes responsibility for what went down and how far she has come. Ultimately, like, I made the decisions that got me to where I am today. You know, it was my actions that put me in the position that I'm in. And I think it's important that I sit here on this stage and tell you at home or you in the audience or you right here that um, if you do go through this, you yourself can get through it. Um, you can get to the other side and it may be bumpy, but you are a 10 out of 10, like don't forget it. And as long as you take the responsibility, you can move past it and learn to love yourself the way that you deserve to be loved. And just in case all of that didn't have you all up in your feel goods, Demi is releasing her new single, I Love Me, on Friday. This song is fun and lighthearted and it's got like a positive upbeat message. There are songs on the album that are ugly, honest and heavy and will make you cry and will take you there, but I'm so excited. Following her appearance on the talk show, Demi shared her feelings on Instagram, writing, I was so emotional. I cried when I walked off stage. Thank you, Ellen, for providing me a platform to speak my truth. Then she shared a sneak peek at the new jam and it is good. Twenty twenty is already off to a great start for Demi. In February, she announced she's getting her own talk show on the new mobile entertainment platform Quibi. And that same month, she sang the national anthem at the Super Bowl and freaking slayed. I don't remember anything. I blacked out. It was I was so excited. This is your year, Demi. I can feel it in my bones. Of course, you can count on ET to bring you all the latest on Demi and her new music, so keep it locked right here. Until next time, I'm Hallie Stevens, and I'll see you soon.